Before we get into trivia, it's time to throw it over to Mikey P with your Rangers Ed 150, the fastest 150 seconds in the National Hockey Podcast League. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Rangers Ed 150. We had another big blockbuster Friday night that saw Ryan O'Reilly and Nolachari head to the Toronto Maple Leafs. In exchange, the Blues received forward Mikhail Abramov, Adam Gaudet, Toronto's 2023 first round pick, Ottawa's 2023 third, and Toronto's second rounder in 2024. The Minnesota Wild will retain 25% of O'Reilly's salary, and St. Louis will retain an additional 50%. Lots of speculation around several other guys, including Jacob Chitrin and Patty Kane. So as that March 3rd deadline approaches, keep an eye out for some big pieces to be wearing new sweaters come March. Outside the trade market, we got a spicy playoff race happening on both sides of the continent. So let's get into some action from around the league. Out west in the Pacific Division, as we said last week, Vegas seems to have a bit of momentum here after stumbling into the All-Star break. The Golden Knights are now 5-0 since the break, including a big win last night over the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Kings are also perfect since the break, sitting at 4-0, but they have a tough run of games coming up in the Wild, Devils, Islanders, and Rangers this week. So this will definitely be a good litmus test for L.A. Finally, the Kraken remain in third place, and the fourth place Oilers have slowed down a bit since we last talked with three consecutive overtime losses. In the Central Division, as with the Pacific, the Central standings remain unchanged since last week. Dallas, Winnipeg, Colorado, and Minnesota occupy the one to four spots, respectively, with Nashville falling to six points out of fourth place on the heels of a one and two week last week. The Stars have also lost seven of their last nine and have only scored four goals in their last five games. So they seem to have lost that scoring touch and they're treading water until they can find it again. Interesting point of comparison here between the East and the West. Both division leaders in the West have 72 points, while the top six teams in the East all have more than 72 points, with the Lightning sitting closest at 73. Needless to say here, the top six teams in the league appear to be in the East. Back in the Central Division with the way things are progressing in the Pacific and the way the Wild are playing at the moment, it doesn't seem like that. We'll see more than three teams from this division in the playoffs. Back east in the Atlantic Division, Boston widened the gap over Toronto to 13 points on the heel of, heels of a 4 nothing or a 4 0 week that included a 6 2 thrashing of the New York Islanders. With the Leafs, uh, they had wins over Chicago and Montreal, but they were unable to sweep the Blackhawks last week, who pulled out a 5 3 victory over the Leafs on Sunday on the back of a Patty Kane hat trick. The Lightning also had a tough week dropping games to Vegas and Arizona, but the gap between Tampa and Florida is at nine points at the moment, so Tampa can afford to drop one or two here and there. Finally, of note here is the Buffalo Sabres. The Islanders and Panthers have taken the two wild card spots for the time being, but both of these teams have played 60 games, and Buffalo is currently sitting in that fifth wild card spot, four points behind the Cats and five points behind the Islanders. But the Sabres do have six games in hand over both of these teams. So in all likelihood, we'll be seeing the blue and gold in one of those wild card spots at some point. Finally, in the Metro Division, as with the Atlantic, the top three here remain unchanged from last week with the Canes, Devils, and Rangers sitting atop the division in their respective spots. The Islanders have crept up into fourth place and the Pens and Caps fell to fifth and sixth respectively. The Caps are on a four-game losing streak with Ovechkin back home with the death of his father, and the Pens have also dropped their last three. So the Canes are in a bit of a predicament with Pacioretty out of the lineup this season. Uh, he was a real solid top, so top six scorer that the Canes were relying on to push them through the playoffs, but it seems like they're going to have to make a run at a scorer come playoff time or come trade deadline time, and Timo Meyer appears to be on top of that list. So things are uh, a bit wonky in the Metro Division right now, particularly with the wild card standings, but we got some exciting hockey coming up this week as that trade deadline approaches. So stay tuned for more updates next week. This has been your 150.